Today we're going to be looking at the Q3 earnings for Lulu Lemon. For our regular viewers on this channel, you would know what is Lulu Lemon. We are always analyzing Lulu Lemon every 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 city year over year. We've done that the last two, three years or so. However, um, for the benefit of new viewers, we will have a look at the website. Lulu Lemon actually put their earnings top and bottom, and the, the stock falls around 9%. Why would the stock fall? They beat their uh, earnings the on bottom because they gave a re reverse guidance on the, the Q4. You see, when a company uh, gives guidance on Q4, if it's a re reverse one, you know, um, as of uh, that of Lulu, the Q4 guidance for the beat, you know, so it's uh, that's the reason one of the reasons why the stock is a bit down, and also they gave an issue of the. Um, um, the freight and supply chain issues are still, you know, they are still constrained. Inventory issues across retail store is still a, a, a big issue. You know, Lulu Lemon, uh, they have different stores, and inflation is still there, even though inflation appears to have peaked. But let's have a look at the details of it. Then we we'll have we we'll have a look at it uh, line by line, as I often say on the website. Um, the actual earning is. Um, 1.86 billion, what was expected is 1.82 billion, while the EPS is $2, and what was expected is $1.92. So it actually the top and the bottom. Let's have a look at the details of it on the on details of the Q3 report on investor relation on their website. And for those of you who don't know Lulu, we will have a look at the website, you will see what they do. You know, as I often say on this channel. You need to understand what a company does. It is not just about ticker symbol. We keep saying it. Don't just jump on stock because of ticker symbol. Go to the website, look at what they do, understand their business model, understand their product. You don't have to understand everything, but you should know what they do. In fact, the company is not too far when we ask you when we ask you to check for the management and all that. It's not that you should know them one on one or their names. Go to the website, check it. You are putting your money there, so you should, you should know those working for you. It means that you, you, you have a piece of the, the business, you know, that is why you are an investor, you invest in that business, you become a shareholder. So let's have a look at the details of the Q3 2022 earnings. Let's have a look. Here is a website for uh, Lulu Lemon uh, Atletico. Uh, Lulu Atletico. Uh, as you can see, um, they have different um, products for, you know, for Women, men, accessories, shoes, studio gift. Um, they are also, um, you know, they have a, arrays of different stuff. Um, it is not only item of clothing for yoga, exercising, and, and all that. They are also home accessories and uh, you know kits. Um, you can have a look at. I mean, here is a, 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 some sort of water bottle. This is a hat. You know, there are different stuff you can see on. On Lulu uh, Atletico, you know, and um, also especially when it comes to sports, sport gears, you know. So let's have a look at the shoes um, section of it. Um, as you can see, these are trainers that you can use for exercise, gyms, and all that. You know, uh, track and field event. Um, it, so it's a very um, uh, Beautiful website, you know. Uh, it has a lot of stuff that you can play around with. It's colorful. Uh, it's um, very interacting. You can uh, choose the color, make up your own design, you know, stuff like that. So it's it really a website that uh, has a lot of um, character, which is part of uh, you know what they are selling. They also have this stuff all over the country in the U.S. and some other Western uh, countries, you know. The issues with uh, that they are saying is that um, they are they are actually seeing more, more people visiting their stores, you know, than um, than the requests that they're, they're getting online. So it tells you that um, you know it tells you a different story that even though there is inflation, people are still uh, people are still coming to the stores to um, shop, you know, rather than um, the online uh, and digital sales which was huge some um, two three two years ago during the lockdown um for the purpose of this video it's more of um you know for as an investor you know you, you have 
come over to, to their website they have seen what they do now um their items the uh, accessories you know a lot of things look at the men section under the men section you would find uh, you know uh, gears you know shirt trousers you know, uh, track suit different stuffs so you can have fun on this site you can check around let's move on to um, the investor relation under investor relation you have the Lulu level athletic Gardens. please announces toward the quarter physical 2022 results here you have the um, revenue increase by 28 percent to 1.9 billion uh, comparable sales increase 22 percent or increase 25 percent on a constant dollar basis diluted eps of two dollars let's move on to uh, the highlight here let me start from here the adjusted non-gap financial measure below exclude, exclude certain costs incurred in connection with the acquisition of mirror in physical 2021 and related tax effect the physical year ending january 29 2023 is referred to as 2022 the physical year ended january 30 2022 is referred to as 2021 you know and the physical year ended february 2 2022 is referred to as a 2019 that's just to give you you know how their own uh, physical years go it's, it, it's not uh, across board with everyone um, for the third quarter of 2022 compared to the third quarter of 2021 net revenue increased 28 percent to 1.9 billion or increase of 31 percent on a constant dollar basis net revenue increase of 26 percent in north america and increase of 41 percent internationally and um, total comparable sales increased 22 percent or 25 percent on a constant dollar basis comparable store sales increased 40 percent to 70 percent costar dollar basis direct to consumer net revenue increase 31 percent 34 percent on a constant dollar basis here direct to customer net revenue represented uh, 41 percent of total net revenue compared to 40 percent for the third quarter of 2021 gross profit increased 25 percent to 1.0 billion and the gross margin decreased 130 basis point to 55.9 uh, percent income from operation increased 37 to 35 2.4 million adjusted income from operation in increased to 25 percent operating margin increased 120 basis point to 19.0 adjusted operating margin decreased 40 uh, basis points income tax expense increased 39 to 97.3 million the effective tax rate for the third quarter of 2022 was 27.6 compared to 27.2 for the third quarter of 2021 the adjusted effective tax rate was 25.1 for the uh, third quarter of 2021 diluted earnings per share were two dollar compared to one dollar 44 in the third quarter of 2021 which means that this quarter is uh, slightly better adjusted diluted earnings per, sh per share were one dollar 62 in the third quarter of 2021 the company repurchased 54.6 thousand shares of its own common stock at an average price of 311 dollar 21 cent per share for a total cost of 170 million the company opened 23 net new company operated store during the um, third quarter ending with 623 stores um, for the third quarter of 2022 compared to the third quarter of 2019 net revenue increased 940.8 million or 103 percent representing a three-year compound annual growth rate of 27 percent gross margin increased 80 basis point operating margin decreased 20 basis point diluted earnings per share were two dollars compared to 0 0.96 cent in the third quarter of 2019. megan frank chief financial officer stated we are proud to have delivered another quarter of strong sales and earnings growth despite an operating environment that remained dynamic this result illustrates the strength and differentiation of our omni operating model and position us well to deliver ongoing value 
for our stakeholders. We look forward to a strong finish of our physical year. Balance sheet highlight. The company ended the third quarter of 2022 with 352.6 million in cash and cash equivalent and the capacity under it committed revolving credit facility was 394.8 million. Inventories at the end of the third quarter of 2022 increased 85% to 1.7 billion compared to 0.9 billion at the end of the third quarter of 2021. On a unit basis, inventory increased 80%, representing a three-year compound annual growth of 38%, which is inclusive of three percentage of four um, in transit inventories. The company believes in it. inventories are well positioned to uh, support its expected revenue growth in the fourth quarter. 2022 outlook for the fourth quarter of 2022, the company expects net revenue to be in the range of 2.605 billion to 2.655 billion, representing a three year compound annual growth rate of approximately 24%, diluted earnings per share, uh, expected to be in the range of $4.20 to $4.30 for the quarter. For 2022, the company expects net revenue to be in the range of 7.944 billion to 7.994 billion representing the three year compound annual growth rate of approximately 26 percent the retail earnings per share are expected to be in the range of 9.94 to uh, 10.04 for the year and excluding the gain on the sales of our administrative office building adjusted diluted earnings per share are expected to be in the range of 9.87 to 9.97. The guidance does not reflect potential future repurchases of company shares. Let's have a look at the uh, table on the, the numbers. I, even though we have we already read the uh, the outcome of it, but here are the number third quarter 2022 2021. Uh, this is third quarter and first three quarters net revenue as you can see 1.856.889 so uh 2022 is slightly better than the same quarter of 2021 but then the first three quarter it also shows that 2022 is better cost of goods sold it is also better when you see this is 818 compared to 621 and this is 2.373 compared to 1.7 so this is uh, this this uh, quarter is uh, really better. Let's have a look if we see a total liability or cash flow. Uh, net income, as you can see, the net income shows at 255.470 compared to 187, which shows that this is better than the first one. quarter is also better than the last. Basic earnings per share. Uh, Lululemon, Athletical, let's have a look if we look at the, here is it asset cash and cash equivalent under cash and cash equivalent we'll see uh, total cash here 5.309436 which is the 2022 compared to that of uh, 2021 which is 4.572 here uh, october 30 january 30 october 31 this is 2022 and 2021 so it shows that this is far better in this 2022 uh, total liability, uh, liabilities and uh, stock equity. I want to look at the total liability. The total liability and stock equity. Here you have it over five billion. You know five point three zero nine um, four three six. While you have four point nine. So it is better in this uh, quarter, meaning that you know the liability is higher now than than that of last year. So. Um, for the cash flow, as you can see, cash and cash equivalent end of period. What you have here is 352624 compared to 993. So, which here, let's get this figure right. This is uh, first three quarter of 2022 and first three quarter of 2021. So, the first three quarter of 2021 uh, was better than that of 2022 in cash and cash equivalent as end of the period you know these are just the uh basis you need to see as an investor you need to know about all, all these it is it is i must say it, it is very important for companies to have cash 
you know uh, a free cash flow or cash flow then which which they also uh, reflected as cash and cash equivalent in some balance sheets you know so it's very very important let's move on to the technical chart for uh, price action on the technical chart here we have a, a weekly chart as you can see um, here the market capitalization is 40.77 billion shares in float is 110.1 million shares outstanding is 122.3 million and the eps rating is 97 the p ratio is 36 uh is selling okay a five-year p range is 26 to 95. cash flow is ten dollar zero five um if you can if you have a look at it um the past eps it's it uh new lemon has usually been in a positive um a region you know it has always been making profit compared to uh, even uh, as at present 2022 to 2023 uh, at the estimate they're all positive when you come over here um as a close of um 15th of uh, i mean uh, 14th of december it's uh, the stock price is 333 dollar 33 cent it is currently trading uh the 52 weeks high is 414 why why 52 weeks low is 251 it is currently trading minus 19.7 percent so let's have a look at the owners uh you have funds yeah. own 58 percent while banks own one percent um on the checklist you have peter lynch five out of eight uh Warren Buffett. For Warren Buffett, you have 16 over 16. 16. I must tell you, this is like the three or four stocks I've ever checked on the Warren Buffett list and it passed everything. It is significant. Let me tell you the truth. It's not easy for you to, to have 16 over 16. You know, 16 over 16. Anyway, let's have a look at uh, Benjamin Graham. Benjamin Grand is 10 out of 13. Guys, on the technical chart, we have uh, he is currently trading just uh, slightly um, below, okay, uh, slightly above 10 weeks moving average and uh, 40 weeks, um, 40 weeks moving average, slightly below of um, 10 weeks moving average. Um, let me let's have a look at this here. As you can see, even though we're still in the market, it seems that Lululemon Lemon has, has begun to move in the upward direction as a bullish move. Uh, this is a 10 weeks moving average, and this is a 40 weeks moving average. But then before now, we also trending down, you know. Then you have a, a, a sword here, which we also have it down here as well yeah so guys um let's have a look at it on a daily chart the daily chart can give us more information for the uh, price action let's see on a daily chart wow there's a gap here a, a, a gap down i rather it's a gap down than a gap up because one way or the other the gap has to be filled so it, it's a, a gap down meaning that the gap will be filled on the way back up but then guys you can see um uh, here it was a uh, uh, trending up then we have this it broke this uh level of uh, support so currently i would say it is trading um below 15 day moving average and uh, 50 day moving average on a daily chart um yeah so we, we might just have a level of uh, support here again somewhere here yeah. um but then if you look at it uh, Louis Lemon hasn't really done bad given that we have been in a, a beer market the most part of this year so um but guys even with it, with all this information it doesn't mean that you should just go ahead and buy Louis Lemon it means that you should do your own valuation uh check uh that of uh, the Warren Buffett metrics and he passed 16 over 16 it still doesn't make you buy it you know even though he gives you an indication that you know for you to pass all that it must have been a good business but 
do your own valuation. Be sure you want to add Lululemon to your portfolio. You know, don't just say because you have watched a video on YouTube and you're adding it to your portfolio. No, I won't be there when the business is down. You know, because sometimes business moves up and down, but uh, I mean, stock price moves up and down. But when you know that the business is solid, then that's the confidence. But how do you know that it is through your valuation? Uh, understand understand the business yourself. You have seen the result of the report of the Q3 earnings. You have seen what they do on the website. You have seen their product arrays of items they, 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 they provide on the, the website and what the business is all about. And you have seen the details of the earnings. Guys, do not just jump at the stocks. You have also seen the technical chart and the, the price action. Blue Lemon is a good business. I hold it, you know, for some time now. However, because I own a share of Blue Lemon, I cannot make you invest in it. You need to convince why you want to invest in it, why you want to, you know, invest in Blue Lemon. But these are the steps. What you have seen, these are the steps you should do. Apart from doing your valuation, on the valuation you can use different metrics. There's Warren well, Buffett, um, Peter Lynch, um, you know, Benjamin. Benjamin Grams, and there are most of them. The platform that I use, Market Smith, it's even provide it for you uh, along your packet of subscription. So you don't even have to go elsewhere as a traditional platform. But then there are also free one on the uh, Google Focus. You can have a look at and I'm cool, you know, on the YouTube um, Sven um, Everyday Money. They they also do analysis and tells you whether it's a buyer or not, no stuff like that. Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for subscribing. We we'll continue to produce content that will support your investment journey. Please call again.